time for Law and Disorder. I demand a lawyer. With attorney Jeff Kaufman on 1011 WJRR. We are Orlando's rock station. And we welcome in Jeff, who is a partner at Kaufman and Lind, a fine local firm here uh, specializing in personal injury. If you or someone you know has been injured in a slip and fall, a car accident, any way, shape, or form, and you think uh, you might need some legal representation, it's worth the call. Free call, free advice. Jeff's first thing he's going to tell you is whether or not your situation does warrant a lawyer getting involved. When you want to get in touch with Jeff, you can email him directly, jeff at whenyouneedus.com. Again, that's jeff at whenyouneedus.com, or pound 546 on your mobile. Jeff, good morning. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Can we ask you a question right out of the gate? This Absolutely. came up during our last idiotology. Let's just say... You're uh, pretty well to do, and you have a couple of teenage uh, sons who take your boat out on the weekend are caught on video dumping trashfuls of garbage into the ocean off of Boca. The video goes viral. Next thing you know, you've got a whole public relations nightmare on your hands. Your sons have to turn themselves in to uh, juvie and are now facing third-degree felony charges and fines up to $50,000. Should you go ahead and stroke the check and pay the fines for your irresponsible teenagers? Can you write those off? No, no, you can't write criminal cases off. This is personal stuff. Uh, I mean, you could say I did it for your own public relations issues. Mm-hmm. You could say that it's a promotional reason, but I doubt it. And the fact is this, you know, you did this. You saw the video, no, right? Yeah. You hold, hold on a second. When we talk, well, you should hold these kids responsible. You know who's responsible? You're responsible. Mm-hmm. You bought this boat. You didn't teach these kids from day one not to pull their, you know, how can I say it? Not to put their own heads up their ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so this is on you, man. I guarantee because you're running around going on all these vacations, doing everything else that they learned everything about how not to give a crap directly from you. Yeah. So stroke the check, send them to military school and move on. Yep. I, amen to that. I said even a step further, confiscate their boat. Oh, the parents I'm about. confiscating their boat. Do you know how much the boat do you re- costs? Do you realize a rich kid? I'm just like going, when you say that. Every poor person in the world goes, oh, the kid has a boat. No, no, it's not the kid's boat. Confiscate the parent's boat for not teaching them properly, as oh, you said. Who? That the boat? government? The, the government. Confiscate oh, the government that. ain't confiscated. The They're just I'm saying that's what they should do. You know how much a boat's worth? I don't trust the government to take people's stuff. They, they, that's the problem they've been having. The government has this new rule where they can take all your stuff. Yeah. So you commit a crime and suddenly they're taking, you know, a couple million dollars in land. Well, you got to be careful with that stuff. You don't but, know about Bob World Order, apparently. Yeah, Bob World Order. Actually, somebody came up to the movie the other day and had one of your T-shirts on. Which one? Bob the- is my life coach. Yeah. Hell yeah. So I, I, I would have thought funny. with Bob World Order, you would have been advocating for the old pirate buried up to your neck in sand and wait for the tide to come in. No, uh, not, sentence. not with the tide, because that would be too too cruel. We wait for the crabs that were affected by the by the garbage in the ocean to come and eat their eyes out. Okay. Anyway, Kaufman. A little, a little uh, dark there. Went a little dark there, Bob. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Had a rough, rough yeah. time at the Keys? No. What we got going on here? That's what Bob World Order is. Okay. I'll fill you in on it. Yeah, Jeff, get ready. Bob get, gets the boat. Get, that's, that's Bob World Order. Get, get ready. Okay. It's, it's, it's beyond grassroots at this point, Jeff. You'll see. You'll yeah. see. Yeah, we'll get you a shirt if you want. Yes. Not the life coach shirt, but Bob World Order. I can see the movie already with Pat going, Bob, you can't do this. You, 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 you you're either I, with I, me or with not with I, me. I, I, I jump in every few weeks yes. and just put a disclaimer on record. You see the cell at the yeah. bottom with, with, with Pat in it going, <laughs> I just said he should yeah. do that. <laughs> hey, um, Kaufman, really quick. Kaufman, has a, you have a comedy show. Yeah, we have a comedy show coming up on Thursday downtown at Bonkers at the Corner. Go to whenyoudidus.com backslash events. It's a free stand-up show. So we kill it every second Thursday of every month. Okay. So just go to whenyouneedus.com backslash events for free tickets. Again, whenyouneedus.com backslash uh, events. Um, and is it up to four like it is with the movie? Or maybe yeah, what, yeah. if they have a party of six, might they get in? Yeah, we'll take care of it. Okay, cool. Uh, we got a lot of other questions besides the one about the boat. Uh, for Kaufman, if you receive a settlement, wrongful death was the settlement, and you made your claim to the estate of the person that died as the beneficiaries um, of the settlement. Do, do the beneficiaries n- need to pay taxes on that money? Uh, a lot of, it depends. If it's if it's considered uh, inheritance, then there's a level to that. 
but normally with settlements, as long as it's for medical needs and stuff like that, you don't have to pay taxes on it. But uh, in this case, it depends. You're going to have to talk to the guy handling the state to figure out, and probably your tax guy. There's a lot that goes into that. Yeah, cause, which that kind of stinks because you're having to Yeah, there's to pay a lot money. of moving parts to the question. I, I need to break that down a little more. Let's say it's like your parents or something. Then all of a sudden, you're having to pay taxes on stuff they already paid taxes on. Well, the estate taxes are very, they limit it to a certain amount that uh, I don't know whether it's five or 10 now, but. You know, gotcha. you got to look it up. Um, I So get in touch with the lawyer on that. I tested my apartment complex spa water and found out the water is extremely acidic. It bleached my skin and I got a chlorine rash from the water. What options do I have other than not going in the spa again? Well, you have an HOA probably. I'd report it to them first. I'd report it to the management. Also a you pH know, obviously, problem. It sounds yeah. like obviously he did report it to management. And he didn't get what he wanted. I mean, in these cases, you have to show damages and that you were injured. Okay, if you want to move forward on a on a more civil issue, but report it first. And if they don't do anything about it, then think about taking it to the next level. Yeah, and I mean, they can show proof by the bleached skin. Yeah, Michael Jackson. Um, <laughs> Is that was that from a really? spa? <laughs> no, <laughs> an over 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 treated spa. <laughs> hey. How about this one? I know that it gets touchy with the bosses and whatever. I was hired at my at my job as a salary employee for 40 hours a week. New boss came in and is expecting us to work 60 or more hours a week. Is there anything I can do? Well, it depends if you're really a salaried employee compared to an hourly. Yeah, you can quit. I mean, the fact is this, is that you got that job hoping you'd work 40 hours. Now, a lot of sal. People don't understand the difference in salary and hourly. Let's break that down real quick. Hourly, obviously, you get paid by the hour. Salary is, hey, here's $60,000 a year to do your job. Now, you're not entitled to overtime when you're a salaried employee, but sometimes these these kind of businesses sneak this information in when you really should be hourly. So you might want to talk to an employment lawyer, but at the same time, you know, if you didn't you know, contract for more than 40 hours a week, you probably have to have that discussion. Okay. Um, hey, Jeff, buddy of mine got into an accident when we were stationed in Washington State. It was nothing but a fender bender and a broken taillight. He got served papers. What does that mean in the future? Well, well by the way, go Navy, beat Army. <laughs> that's dude, Steve dude, I, from Coco. Steve, I served in the 82nd Airborne. I'm off, that's, that's the Army if you haven't figured this one out. Uh, so I've, I'm not on that side, but... As far as your problem goes, this is what happens. Somebody's claiming that they were injured in the accident or the insurance company is coming after the property damage. But most likely somebody's claiming an injury and they served him. And what's going to have to happen is if he's got to contact his insurance company and let them handle it. That's the process. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're going with Army on this one. Oh, uh-huh. uh, anyway, I had my you might have to have Jeff fight the fishing admiral one day. No, I don't go fishing. <laughs> I, the most I go on on a boat is a cruise. I wish I could. I, I, I grew up in the Keys, so I, I've had enough boating. I got you. You ever throw any trash? Uh, no. I had no, my... but I did raid a couple lobster traps when I was young and dumb. So. Allegedly. Just say allegedly. allegedly. No, it's statute of limitations. It's convenient little admitted. wooden boxes Every that they put Every kid did it until, until, they, until somebody came <laughs> driving up on them and they scared the hell out of them. Yeah. So I learned my lesson. Yeah, it's just like Pat said, this little box. And, and, and my dad, and boxes. my dad, trust me, he wasn't paying the fee. Mm-mm. You know, I took my Your own ass, ass I took my own ass kicking. Yeah. 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 Those are the good old days where you yeah. got a good whipping yeah. and kept on ticking. I uh, had my headlights refinished at a detail shop that offers a limited time warranty. After over a year, I went back to get the headlights done again. No problems. Gave them my paperwork. When I went to leave, I asked for my paperwork back. They said that. They only offer that second service for free one time. Why tell people it's in a lifetime warranty? He Can said they do limited anything? time warranty. You didn't say lifetime the first time. Uh, said- yeah, they did say limited lifetime warranty. Well, I, the, i.e. the word limited. Yeah. Just answered your own question. Damn there it. There you go. Oh. That got by me, too, so don't, let it, don't feel bad. I thought it was taco, but I was pretty sure it wasn't. Okay, this one just texted in again this morning. We already did it. It was about the salary. I uh, just bought a used car from a dealership during the drive home last night. It started, oh, God. Making those noises. It started shaking so bad I had to pull over Ugh. three times. Engine. What are my rights in terms of returning the vehicle 
or getting the repairs paid for in Florida? It depends on the contract you signed. If it's as is, it is, it is as is. There's no lemon law as it applies uh, to. Uh, I don't believe their lemon law applies to used cars. You see yeah. that on those lots, man? That sticker. It, it, there's as two boxes. Is. There's there's one limited warranty or final sale you as know, is. And it also depends how long you've had it. If you drove it right off the lot and that happened, I mean, there could be some bait and switch issues. Yeah, you know, but you're. You know, a lot of times they do some weird things to keep those cars going for about a week. Um, you know, so you take care when you buy a used car. Only buy it from, like, you know, one of these, uh, they have these certified used car guys. Don't just buy these off these lots because you never know, dude. Yeah, and, but, and if you own a lot and you're mad at me, come on, dude. You know what happens. Like the ones that, you know, it's 27% interest <laughs> yeah. financing or whatever. Yeah. I know a guy. I like, know we, a guy. We got a car 29 and a half. We'll get you approved. <laughs> it's like 20... Are you crazy? And some guy's going, <laughs> all right. If we didn't get to your question this morning, fear not. We uh, hang on to him for next time. And, and take it, your kids' boats. If you need a question <laughs> you know. answered immediately, Taco, what's the uh, means to get a hold of Jeff there? Uh, direct direct contact Jeff at whenyouneedus.com or pound 546 on your cell. If you want to go to their comedy show this Thursday, you and a couple friends, that is whenyouneedus.com slash events. Like usual, take care, my friends. All right, Jeff, we'll uh, catch Stay up again. Stay thirsty. I don't know. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> the hell are we talking Lynch about? Lynch and Taco. On demand, download the iHeartRadio app.